Hi everyone, it's me Maddie, and no, I can never make myself look very good for these videos, but I have to get ready for work in a couple of minutes, but I just kind of wanted to update you on how my Swedish has been going since a few days ago, because I had to end that vlog and edit it to get it up for tomorrow. But today is the 8th of December, and we are very much so nearing the end of this challenge. Uh, and it's kind of scary because I didn't make nearly as much progress as I thought I would, and I definitely plan on talking about this more in depth in my 90-day, like, wrap-up video and stuff like that, but I have a lot of inspiration right now to learn Swedish, and it is all because of this one song. Aldrid Mir Tabaka, Aldrid Mir Tabaka. It is a song that is somehow in my top t songs of 2022. Pretty sure I only listened to it like one time before that playlist came out. Um, and now I'm listening to it on repeat because here's what happened. I think I might listen to it when it popped up in my 2022 top songs playlist because I always put that on a few times over when I uh, get it because I like to listen to it, though I don't agree with the choices this year. I don't think they are my top songs, Spotify, okay? I don't think they were. Um, but... It was on that playlist, and I listened to it, and I was like, hmm, this is a pretty song. And so I ended up listening to it a few more times. I think it popped up on my sweet uh, Music Pusvenska playlist because I have it enhanced so that uh, Spotify throws songs in there. And so I just kept hearing it. And then I was, I was like, mumbling along to the main verse while editing a YouTube video, and I was like... Is this Swedish? I think it's a, I think this is a Swedish song. So then I pulled up the lyrics and I was like, yeah, this is definitely a Swedish song. And ever since then, I've hearted it and I've been listening to it on repeat. And I worked out today and every time I worked out in a set, I paused and I listened to the song and sang along with the lyrics, trying to work on my pronunciation of certain words like um, Shauna. Uh, that one that's K A N A, you know that word. I that that is very that pronunciation really throws me off. So I feel like I'm pronouncing it correctly because of the song, but I am still like so apprehensive because I'm mispronouncing that. So yeah, um, but I think that I'm actually going to do a few things with this song, like learn the words. I have not had a song that I've listened to that's in Swedish yet that I felt like I could use it as a resource to study until Aldrin Mjotebaka. And I just really like the song. I really like singing along and I think it'd be really good to learn the words so that I can actually work on pronunciation and not just use the song. There are a lot of words in here. Not a lot. I mean, not all of them. But there are several words in here that I have recognized, especially like I'm like Ervi Tvuf Po Million, I believe that is. Like, that's one of the lyrics in here. And it's like something for two million. And I want to know what it is. I want to know what this song is about that I'm singing. Um, it sounds very sweet and kind. But for all I know, it could be a dirty freaking song and I have no clue. So I am going to actually, because the lyrics are on Spotify, so I'm going to go through the Spotify lyrics and write them down in my little Swedish notebook. And I'm gonna write them down and then I'm going to actually print them off. I wanna practice writing Swedish, so that's why I'm writing them down, but I wanna actually go through and translate them through a Word document that I've printed off because I just, I would like that better. And I could always do it again a few, in like a week or so on the paper, but I would rather just write it down once and then put all the words into a Google Doc, print the Google Doc off, and then work on translating it like that. Because I can bring the Google Doc paper crumbled up a lot more than I can the notebook, because no, I'm only tearing pages out of this notebook when they don't look good. And uh, these are this this writing is gonna look great, guys. It's gonna look great. <laughs> okay, I'm very very positive that my camera just cracked. <laughs> uh, turning it on, opening the viewfinder for the first time in like two weeks. I'm so I'm so sorry that it has been so long. 
I had to make sure my door was closed because my mom has my cold. <laughs> That's what families do. They pass on sicknesses. Um, but it's been a long time. And the truth is, I have not studied Swedish since I wrote this. So, yes. Um, that's where we are currently, um, but I'm in the mood to study languages, and so I'm going to finish Aldrin Yutubaka. I did not write, I have like a minute left I need to write, and then I need to type it up onto Google, print it off, go through and translate it, make the Anki deck for the words. I really need to use my Anki. Yeah, I need to go through Anki and do my flashcards that have been there undone for like a month. So, I'm really behind right now. The Swedish language learning is not, we're not going very good together. Also, I'm sorry. Um, but I finished Manifest today with my mom. And my favorite character is dog. So, um, that's all I need to say about that. And uh, part two, I have to wait seven months for, which I think is ridiculous. It's stranger things. People only had to wait like three weeks for theirs. And you're going to make me wait six months. Mm -hmm. This is what happened with Lucifer. And that's why I've never finished the show. Anyway, that's that's not related to Swedish. But I thought I'd tell y'all that I cried at the end of season four, part one, aka season four, episode 10. I cried. Um, because my mean favorite character character it that was a guess er dog nu so uh what er yog supposed to do now hmm? study swedish that's what i'm supposed to do oh and look this is for next year but we'll talk about that later it has been printed out and i'm going insane because this song is literally playing in my head over and over, and over, and over again. It's like, oh my god, just shut up, please. It's just over, and over, and over, and over again. And I really need a different song in my head. A whole different, like, tone, too. Something that's, like, the Swedish version of America's rap. <laughs> I need something with such a different tone, because this song is driving me insane. Just because, like, my brain is singing it over and over again in the tone. And I'm just so... Stop, please. Good morning, everybody. I slept in until 8.30, laid in bed till like, 9.30. And it felt amazing. Now Fog. I feel kind of... Um, None of these make sense. Day, which is perfectly fine and something that I'm working on. Like, just allowing myself to do what I need to do to get enough sleep and be healthy and whatever, but I'm making coffee right now, and I can't get this bread out of my mind, and so I know that instead of just thinking about it all day, I'm just going to go ahead and bake it this morning so that we have two loaves of bread for the next few days, and I do think that... Okay, so it's a lot later now, but I did finish this. I finished this before I worked out and before I had dinner and everything. I just just now decided to finally update y'all on how we are where we've been gosh i need a haircut um but i did do this and for a first timer doing the the lyric version of studying a language i mean i'm pretty sure i'd do it again i just can't find a good translator for swedish like reverso worked fine but i mean are you i think you're supposed to find like a, a, a website that translates entire songs but like i didn't do that you know what i mean and i really do still even if i did find this song this obscure song from a more obscure language on some type of sketchy translation tra translator site um I still need a translator to get Swedish to English words. Do y'all have any recommendations? Reverso helped, you know, Reverso got me. I got some nice, I wrote down, one, two, three, four, seventeen words that I 
don't know, um, which actually is not that bad. Would I do this again? Yes. Um, next time, like I said, I'll choose like a different song because I will do this again, I think. Um, I enjoyed it. I just put YouTube videos on while I did it in the background. And as soon as I find a different, better translator, I think this will be better. You know what I mean? So now I just have to, I put them into Anki. So the real thing is, now I need to use Anki. <laughs> and I'm terrible at that. It's just like none of these words I really feel like I would use much. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, what me? What? What is Aldred Mirtel? Mir? What is Aldred Mirtel Baka about? That's a fantastic question. Truly fantastic. Because even after I translated it, I'm not quite sure. Um, a love song, uh, which you could get through the tone of voice of the singer, but it's like. I, I don't know what it's about. I'm terrible. <laughs> Even songs in English, I couldn't tell you what they're about. Truly. I'm just there for the vibes and the fun. I don't care what they're about. Thank you so much for coming to this update. Um, I'm sorry that it's all over the place. But, uh, yeah, I would do this again because you just get a great mix of vocabulary words. The problem is I don't really know what songs to pick until I've translated them because I don't... I don't know what words they include in their vocabulary, but um, yeah. I just like how much it looks like I did so much work when in actuality the longest it took was writing it by hand. It, I think it took longer to write it all by hand um, than it did to type it up, print it off, go through and translate the words. I think it took longer to actually handwrite it. so. There's my opinions on that.